Dudes, end of the year, I'm going to make one more video. What's going to be in store for the rest of the year up until Friday 13th? Friday 13th is coming up in uh, February and April. February and March. February and March. There's two Friday 13ths next, next year. I'm going to have three barbecues. I'm going to call the end of my... Well, it's going to be a, a delay... Of my YouTube activity before uh, I want to I want to go back out to West Texas. I'm I'm just tired of being in this little mini ass studio doing my mini ass little bullshit routines. It's raining out here right now. I don't know if y'all can see this, let's see. It's raining and shit. It's a Sunday afternoon at my studio here. So the thing is, is uh, here I was. This is my little write-up. Check this out. This came out this week. Can you effing believe this? Let me see this. Yeah, so see, remember those paintings? Those paintings got printed up. This is a whole legitimate article. I'll put a little link to it here. But that's another subject. The big subject is Friday the 13th coming up. See, this shit's come up so quickly that I don't know what the hell to do. And I have a bunch of projects coming up. Uh, it's gonna be a big time spectacular. This will be the end. This will probably be the end. I'm gonna address. I'm ending the outside the craft, rambling bullshit. I I thought it was a, I, I I said what I was gonna say. I wasn't gonna go into much of history, but and who cares? So, but the Friday night I'm gonna I'm gonna actually address a lot of the in, out the outsider video. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna include a lot. Of and one last climactic video. And since I can upload more than 15 minutes on YouTube, I found out I'm going to make a, a massive video blitz from about, uh, I'm going to say February the 3rd to about. But you know, since you know, I'm a, I actually want to make some new videos between here and the 13th, there's one video I want to do. Okay, I got to go ahead and grab this. With one video, I, actually, I'm going to redo the baby. You know those damn baby videos are fucking, I don't know why I did, but they're actually picking up. My commentary, fuck you, Red, is making, you know how, you know Red, he didn't like that. The fact that I was like, doing his commentary on videos, he thought I was being all Mr. Professor. Well, you know, those videos struck a chord with some people. And I'm going to make bit the baby video part six with a big critical question. The, probably the question that every man has had to ever answer in his life. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna address this coming up. So, the babies are the good video series. I'm like, but I just okay. That's another that's another topic off the off the point here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta grab this thing right here. I got a package in the mail from a guy. He's one of my primo stalkers. He's not really a troller. He's just he's just a good old fashioned stalker. Let me see. Let me get this thing. I got this package here from uh, Stratton Possum. He said he wanted to mail me something, and it must have been something important because the freaking shipping was like eighteen dollars. And we're gonna get into this thing tonight. I don't know what it is. He's actually mailed me some really cool stuff over the. Stratton's one of these guys that he is what I consider is. You know what he might what Stratton reminds me of when his activity and stuff. This he reminds me of this, this art piece I made made years ago with uh, these two guys. These artists when I was in when I was in grad school, believe it or not, I was getting my master's degree, and uh, I uh, I like these two guys, uh, Richie Budd and Derek Durham. There's these two dudes that I was rooming with, and they had this kind of art pieces. So I made kind of like Starker art about their bullshit, you know. I thought it was really funny and shit, and I put this, I had a little show with it, you know, and all the professors and the students said, you can't do that, what the fuck, why don't we want to know about this, and I said, well, this is about, this is my version of, like, kind of like folk art, you know, it's about people, and he says, they're, they're stuff, they're issues, you know, and uh, I thought it was, I love the pieces, you know, actually, I, I think I sold a couple of them, you know, of course, you know, you know Richie and Derek, they loved that shit, because they were like, I was, I was, uh, 
getting into their ego, you know. This can never be satisfied enough, you know. And so Stratton kind of reminds me of a, it's kind of like I, what I was doing to Richie and uh, Derek. This piece here, I've cut the little sides off. Jesus. Warning. Oh, dating <laughs> Oh no. This doesn't this fucking doesn't sound right. I should actually like uh I'm gonna eBay all this shit so I can sell it. I've had a couple beers here. What is this? What my he wrote some here. What's this called? Tick tock. Uh -huh. Oh my god, there must be some kind of bomb in here. I'm gonna save all this shit. All this shit's gonna be, I'm gonna eBay and everything in this every little aspect of this. This projects. Preserve nothing. Look, preserve everything. You know, can't you, that show I had with Richie and uh, Derek, I know that no, neither one of these idiots fucking watch my videos, so I can talk crap about them. That's the good thing about this whole, all this YouTube shit, uh, no one will, oh my god, what is this? I love that, you know, that was one of my first shows I ever had over there at Gallery E. I made a painting, or was it, I think I made thing, something that resembled Derek and, and Richie and all his bullshit and... And I uh, hit Richard calls by a stir with some folks, and so I don't. I like art, art dramatica. I guess just trolling art, you know. But in the academic concept, concepts they just cannot fucking acknowledge that. They won't. They refuse to acknowledge that. It's too much about male penises and fucking each other. But uh, whatever. So. uh Let's just look at this. What kind of... Oh my god, this is some true love right here, guys. See, Stratton... See, Stratton is a particular guy. And, uh... I would do this. I would... If someone got out there and they provoked me enough to... To generate shitloads of art about them, you know? Hell, I'm... What do you think the Outsider videos are about? Like a special package right here. So this, I'm gonna I'm gonna eBay all this. Going in a special eBay pile. Stratton, you know, to me, in a lot of the works that he's made, Stratton has. You know, I consider him almost part of my uh, artistic echelon. The thing is about this this art drama is that as soon as you start just making work about somebody, you can't get rid of them. You know, as much as I want to. Piss all over red and get all over Chandler's bullshit. The reality is I can't get rid of him. He's you know, on the internet and shit. He's way too involved in my crap. So it's like a, I guess like Stratton and me and we're like in this male gang rape or something with each other. And just making stuff and gangs and whatnot. You know, it's all this gags and uh, trying to get it on each other's skin. You know. If you actually lose it, you lose. That's what I always like. If you lose it, you kind of... That's where trolling doesn't work anymore. You know, trolling only works if you feed the troll. What the fuck is this shit? What do you do? Uh, see, see, Stratton, see, I'm a good stalker, too. Don't don't get it straight. I mean, I'm... I, I What's the word? I'm like one of those easily led individuals that can unconsciously act upon suggestive symbols. What is this? He gave me a... You know, uh, you know, one of the funny things is there's a box over here. There's a really cool-ass box. There's a box here somewhere. I think it's behind here. Stratton sent me a box of uh, Taco Bell nacho cheese, if you can believe that. <clears throat> he said he worked at some factory that basically made the crap, and then he picked up a box and sent it to me. And that's going to be used in the next upcoming uh, videos. And I'm giving you a fair warning to... Uh, Butthead Chandler and uh, Stratton and, and Eric Maximus that you guys just need to man up and do the goddamn work of making a true folk art 
fucking video. You know? There was music before. Eric Maximus used to used to make some really good fucking videos. And you gotta just know how it's a lot of work. I'm not lying to you, it is a lot of work. What is this shit? Oh, sardines. It's a sardine can. From Russia. Wow. Man, I, I want that good or still. Yeah, 2016. That's good. I'm gonna eat that. I'll be on. That'll be actually. Um, yeah, that's a special nacho video right there. I can. That'll be. I'm gonna use that for 13th. Friday 13th. Put it over here with all my other stuff. Next to my Underwoods and all those other cereal straps. We'll try. I'm gonna sell this whole box. Some way or another. And the guy's name is. You know you're the most devoted stalker and satirist. I have a sizable stake in the direction of your love life. Use the enclosed material carefully. And always I will be watching. Ha ha ha. Strat and Possum. See that's that's stalker shit there. And this 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 video still for those who don't know. That's back when uh, I made a video with Justin about the bunny about him getting the dogs that killed Cheggs and that damn bunny there Ruby Lone Star Rachel I'm not making this up she she actually has that damn thing I tried getting it back from her and she hit it there's a whole story I went out there West Texas the only reason I went out to West Texas to, was to retrieve the bunny and I explained it in a video but then I took it off to found about all the ordeals of getting over there you know and what she's about, she's gone. She's out of here. I probably don't want to do much more with her. Too bad. I didn't get the banger, so folks, you know. That was just the way it goes. I might actually do a drawing on the back of this. And uh, I'll put this on Friday. This could be all Friday the 13th material. This is going to be my inbreeding with uh, Stratton for Friday the 13th. And there's going to be plenty of it. Look, what is this? Oh my god. This is like vintage game. It's a pass out game. Holy shit. My god, that's like an expensive fucking vintage old style game. Oh my god. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. It's like my Christmas present. I don't know what to do with it, of course. I don't really play past the games, but that's cool. There's some wait a second, there's something else underneath this. What is this shit? He's driven in Martin's. I don't know what that is. Can you eat, can you eat it? He must got some old shit. What is it? What is it? Wait, there's a whole bunch of the crap in here. Huh, red alert. He's just throwing all kind of shit in this thing. What is this? It's not a game. I don't know what the hell this is. Some poem or something. Oh my god. And then we got. You know, the thing is, I, I like getting art boxes. I think they're fun as shit. I, I actually sent an art box to, uh, to, what was his name? Slack Jones. What is this? This old folk. Folk fest thing. A little photograph. I bet you that's that guy right there. I bet you that's, that's just the face of the stalker right there. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah, Mr. Willie. Like that. I'm going to have to use this shit. There's another. There's Hattie Duty. Oh, wait, there's a disc. There's a letter here. Oh, it's a beer donation. Wait, what is this shit? I got money in this fucking thing, too? Oh, my God. There's, like, fucking money in here. That's six... Like, six... Uh, that's 666. Uh, I think that probably that this this beer donation I don't that's gonna probably be it's at least a natty and a tall or uh, you know most natties now they all my natties go for over at the corner store they're about 545 right now what the fuck is this? this man this is like some serious shit here standard weapon What the fuck is this? He's just sending me all kind of crazy shit. 
don't know what that is. Hats off, Serge. It's more. He's just going. He put. You know what? The thing is, I know the kind of artist that Stratton is. See, Stratton is like a. Uh, he's a pop artist, and so they love. But he's a pop artist with a lot of abstract tendencies. You know, all these faux tendencies. What it is? Faux meaning. Uh, oh my God! A freaking look at this. Check it out. The big dad has a damn jerky stick in here too. God damn. I'm gonna put that over there. I'll probably eat that later. Go see go now. So Stratton is like a uh he's an abstract guy, but he gets into all these weird uh psychedelic paint scenarios. And it's just it's all the Disney esque wacky I don't know what you call it. It's like uh Distortions, you know, it's like uh, the Disney care. Disney's had a mesmerizing effect over a lot of artists over the years. If you go to his website, he has like all these like it's kind of like cartoon characters, but they they swirl around and it's kind of like psychedelic or almost like schizoid phrenic paint patterns, you know. But there's but the thing is, as an artist, when you start getting into these kind of zones, especially with pop icons and you know, old 60s pop retro shit. It can become an addiction. And you start just buying up, sh when you start seeing vintage shit everywhere, you start thinking, man, that would make a great painting. That would make a great looking idiom, you know? See, oh, look at this. Why would he have something like that? Why would Stratton have something like that? Oh, it's starting to rain right now. You see, this could be a Popeye thing, you know? Like, normal cloning, unhealthy cloning. Collecting shit for inspiration. You know, like he gave me all his cards here. I know they're. Oh my god. He's probably his collections of. Oh, Max Beckman. Yeah, yeah, I love Max Beckman. That's probably going to go over here. So here's that. Let me other ones are in. He's probably got some kind of. Mm -hmm. And a. Where's this shit? I said two packages out. I sent one to this, this character, uh, Flick Uly, Henry. Sent him a little, he actually had the, uh, oh my god, he had the, uh, <laughs> he had the gumption to, uh, buy a collection of my drawings and I sent him a whole ton of, uh, just art material, you know. He's a good guy. He's a great collagist. I like some of his compositions on there. They're kind of rough. They kind of lose that fact that you're lose, you're looking at a uh, collage, you know. Man, this is, now this is the guy. This is the guy that's on all of Stratton's videos. My God! Oh my God! You gotta be shitting me. You know. See, this is another Stratton photo. Photo. This is probably like one of his idealized Stratton's abstracts from here. See that, the Daffy Duck thing. He's playing playing around with photo collages. It's like computer computer shit. You gotta be careful with it because it can. Give you an easy sense that your mind can oversee your hand. I don't see it's all physical. What the hell is all this stuff? Food here. Oh my god, gumbo blaze donuts. I'm gonna eBay all this stuff. I just thought that was. I just thought it was just a goddamn game the whole time. Silly me. See the thing, I wish I had a record player. Got some really good shit out there. No freaking sounds of Christmas. I, you know, I want to get the. I'm ready to break out the Mitch Miller shit. Mitch Miller Christmas. You know, here at the house, we used to, we had a Mitch Miller album, and we would crank it at top volumes. When we'd be drinking our eggnog and rum, with cinnamon, and uh, we haven't done that in a while. You know, I guess we're getting we're getting too old for Mitch Miller. Sing it again. That's kind of weird to say it. Can't for Christmas. There's that. There's that. Oh, and there's original Stratton piece. You see, this is a this is very very much a Stratton piece. Stratton possum. Oh, now what? You got the two chimps here. Well, that's actually Rachel right there, or Ruby Rachel. You got the little see the little fire tattoo. And tattoos here. Her uh, crazy blabbing mouth. And there's me, the monkey. Look at it. So what? So what? A bunch of damn over, oversized plus males are making work 
about each other's bullshit and dramas. Who gives a fuck? Big fucking deal. I say, well, you know, to me, you know, folk art, the true nature of folk art, is basically these private dramas that really, there's no universalism to them. It's too private. You know, one of the things about the whole Disney thing and the cartoon elements of stuff in West Texas, one of the things that I, and I was all affected by a heckle and Je I had this heckle and Jekyll cart uh, comic. And I, I basically just try to base everything off of heckle and Jekyll in this cartoon kind of sensibility. And But the problem was the colors were very primary and... Uh, if you're an expressionist and you're a really good painter, you do things to the primary colors to try to make them more. You're trying to give them some kind of soul or a skin, you know. And uh, I know this from having when I was out there in 2002, trying to duplicate this with paint like a Van Gogh, Disney Heckle and Jekyll character. I had this comic book, and I love the comic. I, I like the look of it. And I started realizing I was affected by this sort of psycho Daniel Johnson, Peter Saul combination you know basically <clears throat> but a lot of the paintings you know i had a handful of them sold and handful of them i just i don't know what the fuck to do with them i had some of them i just painted over but that was sort of the origin of it <laughs> i tell you what stratton's doing stratton is actually making he's making drunken drunken art i guarantee he was drunk when he did this it's too much work put into this not to be drunk I can tell you right now you know the thing is that you know it reminds me of uh, George Bernard this character I wrote up a a, uh, a uh, thing on I, man, I, used to, I wrote reviews for this magazine called Propaganda and uh, they didn't I when I wrote this thing I, I just given my honest uh, view this I'll, I one I'll, I'll bring up the photos that I have there's a whole thing on this guy but the editor was like, man, you are just fucking cruel. I said, well, that's what I saw. You know, the guy was, uh, he was an alcoholic and he was just fucking, you know, drinking. And, you know, that's what the kind of work he made. And it was equally as poppy as something Stratton did. You know, it was, uh, I mean, game boards. I mean, it, it out here in the hill country of uh, Hayes County, he had this whole setup. And it was something like an outsider's mecca paradise thing about this all this fan art stuff you know you know why in the hell or stalker art you know what is stalker art and why would you make it and uh, to me you know it's like you make uh, stalker art because somehow or another it might reflect back upon you why make a fucking stalk why make fan art about Johnny Cash or Popcorn Southern or any of those Southern icons or any of those those characters, they think they'd be of two shits about you. You're just basically buying a fan who would buy a fan of them, you know. At least with Stark Art, you are somehow are trying to provoke someone into a reaction. And you you can claim that re that reaction. I know that because I've I've done that several times actually in my own kind of career. In my pseudo career. So, conclusion. The conclusion of tonight. <laughs>